What do you mean, don't let me sneak away? <laughs> Herix. No, Hayush, don't jinx it. Hi, Zai. How have you been? How's work? <laughs> Hi, Leandre. You both are so green now. Hi, Zarin. Hi, Trivi. Um, hi, Munchie. Bye, Munchie. And I sick. Um, oh. well, sick is working now. Sick has his meetings. Hi, Yose. Yeah, I've already extended the deadline. Um, Leandre. Leandre knows. <laughs> hi, how have y'all been? Hi, Munchie. You lurking? You're always lurking. <laughs> but thanks for graciously allowing Yosh to win this time. Alright. This game is very chill. I mean, it sounds very chill. I don't know what it's about. So I will see what it is. It might make me rage if it's a platformer. But listen to this. It's like super chill. Oh, wait. I need to move this a little up. Okay, there I go. Alright. You don't feel accomplished. It's okay, you just gotta beat him hard. Hi Joker, how are you? How have you been? Hi Ligma. I see you sneaking in. How you been Joker? Huh? What are you been playing? Still Apex. <laughs> Hi Big Mag. Have you, has, has anyone played this game? Lost words beyond the page. What I'm trying to do once again is to try and uh, uninstall games by finishing some of them or playing some of them and deciding I won't be playing them. I'm tired of your loving your new job. That's a great joke. <laughs> I'm really glad for you, Joker. Um, give me a moment. I'm going to turn my fan my way because it's really, really hot. Sorry. Boop. What do you mean I'm literally the only person streaming this game on Twitch? Is there no one else who plays this game or follows this game? Uh, Sam is going to get on my case. He'd be like, if you're only in this game, no one else is going to find you. <laughs> okay. Literally right now. Hi, Joker. Tell me about this new job. What are you doing now? Tell us about this new job. <laughs> well, then I'll just be, um, you know, special, I guess. <laughs> mm. All right, we'll see how it goes. If Sim wakes up, he'll probably like pester me and move into like games and demo or something. We'll see. But I want to see what this game is about first. I don't even know if it's a controller game, but. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, wait. Can I... Is it gonna be a... Oh, I can't use it with... Okay, let's... Options. Audio. Um... Okay, sound effects is too loud. Music is good. I'm... I'm Isabel Barber Cook. I'm Isabel Barber Cook. I'm Isabel Barber Cook. I'm Isabel Barber Cook. But yeah, I think everyone knows Joker. Joker's a sweetheart. I'm a maintenance class coordinator, a case coordinator, so I send vendors to people's homes for repairs in my company. Uh, and set priorities and cases and offer troubleshooting. Yes, I'm Isabel Barbara Kirk. I wonder if it's like the daughter of um, James Tiberius Kirk. Okay. Alright. You alright? Language is okay. English. There's a little birthday cake. Gameplay, cursor sensitivity, please go back. Auto continue dialogue, okay. Toggle drag. It's so pretty. Like, look at this art. It's freaking gorgeous. Look at that. Like, gameplay, controls, okay. Interact and open book. This is the cursor position. 
up, down, left, right, crouch, drag, jump, interact. Okay. Language. Look at kitty. Okay. Um, is the audio too soft? Because whenever I tap out to check my audio levels, um, the audio cuts down. I don't know. I don't know. Your child is here, baby. Ba 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 ba. My tongue, my mouth, something, right? I hope not. It must be the music. Okay, let's see. New game. Green, blue, and pink. Look at this guy. We'll do blue, cause I always do. Well, I always do the middle. I felt like a cat the whole day because I was sleeping in the sun and I was like sleeping on the floor. So it was nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank. Thanks, Yush. Look at that. Cat bits. <laughs> Hi, Big Mac. This book belongs to. Uh. Me. Okay. Okay. Funniest case I've had was that I can't walk out my back door and I was like, you have a key for that dead ball. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, what is this? Okay, let me see. Use this two to move. Can I use this? Oh! Hello, Journal. Is it okay if I call you that? It's a bit formal, I know. But we've only just met. Let me introduce myself. That's you. Okay. I'm Isabel Barbara Cook. Most people call me Izzy, not Dad. He calls me Titch. He's such a numpty head. Does this sound a little like Tracer? Yes. Hi, Queenie. How are you? Joke. Oh, man. I don't know. Like, sometimes, like, people really need things, like, pointed out to them because they're in, like, uh, in a case where they're really anxious. So, yeah. <laughs> Cook. Hi, Queenie. How are you? Can I jump on my dad? My little brother Ben calls me Isbo. I call him he who chews curtains. He likes red for breakfast and blue for dinner. Hmm, did I miss something the last like level? Look at the paint on the side. There's... Mom, oh wow. Queen of Kettle. Okay. Her mom oh, is really pretty. My top tea drinking buddy. Guardian of the Biscuit Tin. Right? Look at that. Oh, this is so good. Okay. <laughs> I'm so happy. I go get my tea and this. Leandre, I love your color right now. Oh, oh it's a platformer. I it's forgot. Pinky. I think she's jealous of you, Jano. Is actually afraid of mice. Oh, I gotta go up. Oops. I know, I know. It doesn't matter whether it's your old color or not. I know. I liked it. I said that there wasn't enough green and then you changed it. <laughs> so yeah, look at this. Now we have green, we have yellow, we have blue, we have pink. Sorry, I hit my mic. And it's so pretty. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's 
what's going on. Today's my birthday. Dad made his best cake. Mum and Gran started the singing. Ben gurgled along. I blew out the candles. Okay. To be taller than dad. Hey, it could happen. Since I was little, I've always dreamed of becoming a writer. This is where you come in, Jan. Starting is half the battle, says Gran. Becoming. Okay, I'm gonna put this here. Don't worry about good. Practice, practice, practice. Okay. I'll make this life really easy for myself. <laughs> Write about being you. That's something you know better than anyone. Gran always says. <laughs> I know it's your favorite color. A writer writes. A writer writes. No one ever got anything just by wanting it. I guess that birthday wish I guess was a that birthday wish was a waste then. Oh, if you enable, I think, like, better color for your eyes so that it's not hard to see, um, it will change it slightly off so that it doesn't blend into the background. So I've had a couple of friends just, like, I think just this week alone, just talk about how they want to write. Well, actually, not even just this week, this month, but, yeah, I don't know. I brought back some memories. Hi Viper, how are you? I think we have a colorblind. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Bran said writing is about exploring your thoughts. Are you getting more singing from Hungry Snake? Yeah. It helps you unlock your feelings. Okay, let's see if we can jump there. Now where should I start? I'd like to write something that will make Gran smile. She always talks about little acorns growing into big trees. Is that to make me feel better about my height? Uh, no, I didn't wash it. Because after the thing, I didn't have it opened. And then after that, <laughs> yeah. Hey Zay, how are you? Little acorns. Hello. Can I step on this? It made your day? That's good. A romance? 
science fiction. <laughs> yuck, yuck. A comedy? Maybe I do love science. A drama? Is my humor too weird? Okay. Fairy tales. A drama, Yanorama. We're guessing somewhere. I love fairy tales. A fantasy story. Eureka, and that's it. Hi, problem. How are you? Um. Oh, because I asked, um, because yesterday my throat wasn't feeling that great, so I did ask uh, Bings to, to, um, pause it for me. Hey, yeah, I'll give that to you. Hi, Sick. Welcome back from meeting. <laughs> Hi, Boop. No, <laughs> Riggs. What, no, Riggs? <laughs> Hi, Problem. How are you? How's your day been? Yeah. Did you have a song, Yosh? That you wanted? Or is it a song of my own picking? Hold on, let me see. I just need... Mm, I don't know. Mm. Oh, that doesn't work like that. Okay. I don't want this. <laughs> Queen, that's not how it works. No. This game's very chill. It makes me wanna makes me wanna read fantasy stories again or fairy tales or, or play games. Okay, let's see. Thanks for the host. Makes me wanna... What do you mean? <laughs> it does not make me wanna Phasma. Her voice a little louder. I'm Isabel Barber Cook. I'm Isabel Barber Cook. Okay. It's different. Okay. Oh my gosh, what is this? Do we have to check this all the time just to see things? This is really pretty. Look at that. And that makes me hungry. This is so pretty. This game's crazy. It's super feel good. Ugh. No one said this would be easy. Again. From the top. Not so far away. In the land of. Oh my gosh. A place of peace and magic. This is crazy. There lived a girl named... Oh. <laughs> Grace sounds noble or spiritual. Georgia, someone who confronts monsters. Robin, free like a bird in the sky. 
Yosh, bye Yosh, sleep well. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by and for everything. Any of you guys don't know Yosh? <laughs> Shh. Me? Me? I don't feel like a grace. Robin! Everyone knew her by the bright color. Of her? Oh, okay, yes, you've done this. Red, green, and purple. Um. Look at the. Th the accessories are different. You can have a flower. You can have horns. You can have a rose. <laughs> Hi, Ish. No, Zay. Thank you so much for the hundred dollars. <laughs> it's very sweet of you. Thank you. Yes, what is it? Oh, it's a munchlax. Why is the metal one got a carrot? It's a carrot? It's not a carrot. It looks like horns. Is it a carrot? It looks like horns. What am I supposed to do? Oh, munchlax. Let me see. I'm sick. You're making me feel... <laughs> well, I'm glad you're able to help you feel better. Oh, wait, what? <gasps> no. Cookie shop. Ultra ball ten. Yes. <laughs> but thank you, Zay. Uh red, green or purple. Um level horns. Of her green dress. She was ready to begin her adventure. Right, I thought it was horns too. Characters in the story are fictitious. Any relation to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. <laughs> Everyone was very fond of Robin. Her heart was full of curiosity and compassion. The villagers agreed that no one was as kind. She cared for others and liked making fruit punch. Smart. She loved learning and went nowhere without her books. Playful. She was happily mischievous, or mischievous, and always found something to play with. Ah, uh, those are balls, food. Oh man, they all look really good. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Hi, Cat Lord. So it's like a like little platformer thing, but also you make the story, you fill in the blanks. So I guess you create your own story as you go. I don't know yet. Bottom rise for your rise, right? Um, I really like the food, but it's not just about that. Exactly. It's a craft your own story thing, as Meandry says. Playful as her. I don't feel like a grace, Leandre. Look at this, it's so pretty. Not too far away, in the land of Astoria. Hello. And loved using her wit and imagination. Suddenly, a faint speck of light 
floated down and began to buzz around Robin. Hello, little firefly. Did you come for my birthday? Oh, Elder Ava's going to be so happy. Well, let's head back to the village. The firefly shared Robin's excitement. We should pick up my gaming marbles on the way back. They are all over the place. Because I... I fought a giant with them. Right, Firefly? <laughs> Sorry, I don't actually really like the name Grace. Um, no, my cousin just came back. So I was saying hi as he walked by. Audio only is on. I'll be listening until I sleep. Yell if you need me to chat. Alright, Yosh. Sleep well. A wonderful rest. Okay. Hello. This marble fell from a passing star. Always go back from wherever they send you because there's always stuff in the back. This one was the glass eye of a sea sprite. Hello. Um... This one's almost as pretty as you, Firefly. Almost. <laughs> Let's all talk Yoshin. So he has a wonderful rest before he goes to work. Oh, okay. I had a feeling someone yelled. This last one's my champion! Took the giant out cold. Come on, Firefly! The village is just a bit further down. <laughs> this is my career. Oh, that's actually really good. Wahoo! I love doing that. The bridge was an old, creaky affair. Careful, Robin. Careful. Robin imagined shark fins circling below. Phew! We made it, Firefly. <laughs> and... Hi, Queenie. Down! Oh, wait. Uh... Hello. Robin knew many secret paths back to the village. Like this one. She loved feeling the roots around her, as if the tree was giving her a gentle hug. Hi Chris, how are you? How have you been? Chris Midsay. <laughs> Not Just sure you guys have met. Slide. Yeah, how you been? Here we go! Oh look at this. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing well, Chris. Secret entrance to the village above. Robin couldn't wait to show her firefly the village. Maybe run on the rooftops. Or prank the village builders. Look, firefly. I think I've had some bad days, but I think today is a pretty nice day until something starts chasing me in the sky. But so far today has been a pretty nice day, so I'm gonna count it as a good day. Right? It's really pretty. And you should see the art. Look at this. Like the paw screen, they have different ones. So, oops. Like, they have different things. Like the control or the video. Just like, I don't even know what this is, but it looks adorable. Um, no, it's a, I think it might be a beetle flying in the sky. So I'm gonna hope it, it leaves me alone. But yeah. <laughs> K. 
Okay, don't, don't, don't. Oh my god. <laughs> if you see me ducking, it's because I'm trying to get away from it. I feel like I'm coughing up. Please, um, have you drunk anything warm? Anything warm or have, like, a heat compress for yourself? Bugs can be. Okay, just don't fly in my face or something. Hmm. Elder Ava! Happy birthday, Robin. I've made a new friend. One of our sacred fireflies. This is a very special thing indeed. Does this mean... Yes. It's time. Would you fetch me that box, please? Ava was sure that Robin would rise to the occasion. I've been working from home. Landry feels a bit bored because he has to work from home, and Chris has been working at home for two years. <laughs> Hey. Hmm. Yeah. Wait, rise. Oh. Go ahead, open it. This will store all the magic words you find. Some will stay with you, others are fleeting. They will help you overcome any obstacle. Now. Your training is complete. Why is it so soft? Congratulations, new guardian of the fireflies. Guardian? But that's you. Guardian in retirement now. You should head to the shrine tree for the other fireflies' blessing. I'll join you shortly, dear. Oh, before <laughs> I forget. Little something of mine to mark the occasion. Elsa Ava reached inside her pocket and handed Robin a gift. Ava's favorite pendant. Seven oh. Giants. Um, emerald, sapphire, ruby. Hmm. 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 Sapphire. Now off you go. <laughs> There's a little color there now. My little demon ears. I'm so proud of you. try out my magic book. And all at once, Robin was surrounded by the hustle and bustle of village life. Mm. Wait, there you go. Oh, how'd you do that? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oops. Robin must be the new Firefly Guardian. That was amazing. The best Oops. thing I've seen all morning. Oops. 
Uh, oops. <laughs> oops. Why do we have to be on cargo duty all the time? Oh, the back's it from just looking at it. Robin loved throwing stones over the rooftops, but not today. Look, Robin has the book. <gasps> ah, missed. Go on! Today, the Firefly Shrine was waiting. She looked over her bustling treetop village. I heard you had a bit of leaf mold. This was all she knew. Yeah, Elder Bassus gave me a poultice. Did it work? Cleared it right And up. it was home. Looks better than ever. Smell that. That's the scent of paradise. I can always use more paradise. It takes in. But inside, she was still curious. Hey, Robin. Happy birthday. <laughs> no, you can't have a magic book. Good to see you, Robin. But Robin has one. But that's different. She's special. But you say I'm special. Careful, careful. No need to rush. About the world that lay beyond. It's one of the things I like about not going in. Being able to to do things in your own time when you need sneak off, right? Okay, let's do this. If I play with my left hand and I control with my right hand, I think it'll be it'll work a lot better. Okay. I haven't seen that boot for a while, Robin. You have to see the fireflies. Let me get the gate. Thank you, sir. will change based on what you say. Oh, I can't go up. Okay. I can only go in. Robin crawled through the dank, dark tunnel. It didn't feel like being hugged at all. Hmm. Something bad's gonna happen in, this, in the town. She's gonna have to rush back. Okay. The rocky cliff face pays no challenge to her now. Hi, Big Mike. Welcome back. The sacred bell to announce her arrival. <laughs> I got an achievement for this. Well, we're technically inside the book, I think. Where we rinse out the story the she's writing. The tree was in sight. Home to the fireflies, whose ancient energy kept the village safe from harm. Go on. Show them what you can do. That's it. They're accepting their new guardian. Sons. Now she was part of 
And so Hi. Robin became the new Firefly Guardian, but her biggest adventure is yet to come. And the stage is set. Hello, Journal. This time of the year. <laughs> oh. Nyash, what would you like? Um, how do I put you to sleep? It gets dark so <clears throat> early. Like the day. Oh. It's just an accident. And the night is how the world really works. Look at this. Stars and fireflies glowing in the dark. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yes, I don't. Um, it's a good bedtime song. Hmm. What is that? Soft kitty, heart kitty, little kitty, evil kitty. Is that the one? I know, but I think a lot of the songs um, that you know, I like. I know them more than I know the songs of like nowadays. Doesn't matter. We're just well wisdomed. It's a modified version of that, I think. Oh, okay. Let's see. I plan to someday. Glowing things are cool, especially in nature. Oh. Nature is all the cool things. Oh, you make them glow. <laughs> oh, this is nice. It's really nice. Okay, stump here. On holiday in Wales, Gran and I would go to the beach and look up at the stars. But one night, we looked down instead. The stars were shining in the water. It was like the sky got flipped upside down. Look at this, it's so freaking pretty. Right? This is crazy. We took our shoes and socks and waded into the water. As we walked over the pebbles. Bye, sick. They glowed beneath our toes. Grand said it was called bioluminescence. Tiny plankton in the water being moved back and forth by the tide. <laughs> Is it an educational game? Oh. Educational game? Where is Mr. Crab's at? I knew it was just little creatures. But it felt like... Magic! Oh. Um... Oh. Okay, where are we going? Oh, is it for drawing? Wait, what? <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do with this? E oh, look at the shimmer. <laughs> Bricks, stop. I'm so pretty. I got up very early the next morning. How lucky we are to live in a world where people work hard to make something this beautiful and whimsical for people to experience. Right? Hi, Shiny Pudding. I think I missed you earlier. Is it off? I sneaked into the 
into the kitchen, got a jam jar, and went down to the shore, <laughs> to where I'd seen the plankton. Ran was still asleep. Oh, can I push this? Chris has a very interesting take on the world. I like it. Night lamp ever. What is this kitty song? Well, we're living in some dark times and I acknowledge that and feel it deeply. But that just makes the beautiful and wonderful things so much that much more beautiful and wonderful. Fishies, yes. What is this kitty song? Right, so if all of you have not followed Chris, please do. I don't, I, okay, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna look at it. I don't want to listen to my singing. And waited for the night. But it didn't glow. I was devastated. Of course, you took the magic away. I showed Gran the jar. She laughed. Gran always says. You can't put a cork in nature. You can't put a cork in nature. They need sunlight and nutrients from the tide. Gran knows about those things. She used to be a marine biologist. Nature is cool and complicated. Gran bought some special algae that would grow at home. We spent the whole day planning it. Right. We put glass stones. Glass stones. Sand. Sand. Um, corals. corals. Pebbles. Pebbles. Um, a house? A house. Lights. Lights. Um, what if I put company without the water? Oh, okay. Water. We took pictures for Gran's photo album. For our future selves to remember. How the tank took ages to fill. How we took turns stirring the algae in. How happy we were when we had it all set. Just needs time to develop, said Fran. Fire Earth. Which one? Is it like Captain Planet one? Or did you mean by the Fire Nation and whichever it was? Science. After six days, the algae was ready. I put the tank on my desk and ran my finger through the water. Until something incredible happened. My own bit of magic. Izzy. Wait, what? Wait, what? What happened? There was nothing. Was there a knocking sound? I heard a knocking sound. Earth, wind, water, and fire. Oh, 
Oh, it was in the game. It was in the game. She just got a call. She has to leave now. It sounded really bad. I have a weird feeling in my stomach. Something I don't know how to deal with. We just heard that Gran has had a stroke. Oh. I don't want to believe it. I can't lose her. Oh, that was really well done. That was really well done. That was... Oh, that was so good. Robin woke from a hazy, distant dream. Something unnatural had stirred her from slumber. Hi, Broken. Oh, that music. What do you mean, more, more of this type of game? Why? Robin, a giant creature is attacking our village. Attacking? I thought the fireflies protected us. There must be something wrong. Get to the tree at once. Hurry! Robin was surrounded by smoke and cinders. Nope. What creature could have caused this? And suddenly, Robin was surrounded by smoke and cinders. Um, I can't touch that. If I touch that, I'm gonna burn, right? Oh, I can just jump over it, okay. As she hurried past the crackling rooftops, her concern grew. Hey, Robin, you gotta hide. You can hide with us. Broken. It's not a fight. The lift. Oh, um, okay. Hide she looked at her burning treetop village. No, it wasn't. I got this game on my own. I played the dumb one, I really liked it. She needed to keep everyone safe. <laughs> Rix gets me horror games. Brother, a tale of two sons, yes. I know that one. I played brother, it was it was sad. A boy who draws things. Um No, no, no. I need to get to the firefly tree. Oh, thank you, thank you. Never thought I'd be so glad to see my feet again. Oh, I could have actually not done it. I could have just run by. I don't that sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. The bridge was beyond repair. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. One step with Stop it. Yes, yes, what's wrong, Andre? The bridge was beyond I don't... I, I don't understand. What do you mean ignore him? Oh, this is... Did I repair this? Oh, I need to... Re okay, wait. 
Will I burn to death? Okay, rise. Robin rushed out to meet it. Soon she would prove herself as the new village guardian. I can do this. Right, Firefly? Right? But she could not deny the creeping terror. I know the tell. The earth yawned below her. <sighs> Made it. That was scary. Now you're gonna get crushed. This tree did not comfort her. It was as scared as she was. With nobody <laughs> around to extinguish them, fires burned out of control. Stay with you. Others are fleeting. Oh. Okay. Some words will stay with you, others are fleeting. A strange blaze crackled ahead. Is that fire? I've never seen a flame like that before. Hi, Queenie. I don't even have to speak for this game. It does it all on its own. The sacred bell lay silent on the ground. This reminds me of like Disney music, you know, when something goes bad. realization dawned on Robin. The fireflies were gone. A new determination rose in her. She would have Oh. Oh. Huh. Oh. Revenge knowledge the fireflies. Oh, this is interesting. What is it, Big Mag? What is the game?
It's Max the Curse of Brotherhood? What is that game? Let me see. While well, we think about whether we want to have revenge, knowledge, or fireflies. I mean, the ideal one would be the fireflies. I don't care about knowledge. But revenge, though. Oh. Interesting. As a cinematic adventure, released in 2014, an action-packed platforming and creative puzzle solving. Armed with only a magic marker, Max must confront evil at every turn in a hostile and fantastical world in order to save his kid brother, Felix. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Hardness 7 out of 10. For an extra challenge, there are some artifacts and eyeball spy camera plans to uproot. Right? I don't know what I should pick. These are... Um, um, revenge, knowledge, the fireflies. I don't, but that's not my character. I want to see revenge and see how it would shape this game. If, if it would shape this game. Oh, let's see. Revenge. Eldereva! Something took the fireflies. I know. Our people will fall sick without them. Don't worry. I'm going to find out what did this. I'll fix it. Sam. Hi. Good morning, Sam. How are you? Oh. Did she just hug her? I'll make them pay. Oh. I promise. Go, and may the love of this village guide you. Always. What happened to your eyelids? It's Revenge of the Sith. I want to play Revenge of the Sith now. Robin took a deep breath. I'm gonna kill you she all. She knew what she had to do. There would be a reckoning. Oh my gosh. The earth could fall away beneath her. But she would not be stopped. <laughs> this was further than she'd ever been before. And yet it was... Exhilarating. Wondrous. And terrifying. Oh, this Fear is crazy. Her side. And hope in her heart. But things were about to get worse. Much, much worse. A dragon. Did it? Let's go again. <laughs> oh, because I died. <laughs> okay. Is it? No, it's. Okay, not for crumbling pots. And then something, something, something. Not for giant monsters. What's there? Force broken. <laughs> Shakespeare and tragedy, yes. The wagon. The forespoken. Do we have forespoken? Let me see. Spoken. 
No, let's see. Oh, it's not out till. Oh, it's not out until October. No, it's it's gonna come to the PS Five. It'll be come out out in six months. But definitely not the same color palette. It's very different. Yeah, definitely not the same as this. Oh, the opening of Seeing the Dragon, maybe. Okay, let's go back to this. Not for she would get revenge. No matter what. She would catch the dragon. No, wait! She raced forward. And? 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 And leapt! Oh. The journey begins. Hello, Janel. We went to see Gran today. In the hospital. We left Ben to chew on our neighbor's curtains. It looks like... A big grey fortress. I wonder if the pause menu has changed. No, it's still the same. Okay. It took us a while to find the right room. Dad let me open the door. game. Gran has a big cozy bed at home. Nothing like the hospital one she was in. Kitty. Lying in there. She looked so small. It looks like it's the same size. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but the <laughs> pillows are kind of stacked side by side. It's all right, bye, Leandre. Brand Take care. Open, but she struggled to find the right word, speak, pronounce, choose. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't want to choose this. Like, finding and choosing is okay, but pronouncing is bad. Is, it, is fine the correct word? Like, because it's darker? Like... Like... Okay, because I was like... Like, yes, it's the correct word, but also, okay, alright, okay. What if I do something else? Oh, just a mistake, okay, it's fine. Find the right words. She just couldn't... Speak, breathe, think. Speak properly. The doctor said it was called... Dysphasia. 
It was caused by the stroke. She's usually so talkative. Language disorder marked by deficiency in the, in the generation of speech and sometimes also in its comprehension due to brain disease or damage. But now, she kept. Thank you, Vic Mag. Stopping. Mid sentence. It's changing. Mid sentence. As if all the words she could find. We're just... Not right. What is this? Out of reach. I could see it really frustrating her. And she tutted. Like she does when she's annoyed. And then Gran started coughing. They put an oxygen mask on her. I told her she looked like... A space marine. Darth Gran. <laughs> oh no. No. Oh my gosh. This is both it's so sweet and so sad. Reminds me of Gran telling me how she took Mum to the cinema. A long, long time ago, when Mum was my age. Epic. A grand story! <laughs> Gran and Mum went to see my favourite movie. Mum fell asleep. But Gran fell in love with it. When I was little, Gran would show it to me. On a battered video cassette, Gran would laugh at the robots and guess a funny smile. Whenever the scruffy little robot <laughs> showed up, we'd watch it until we could quote all the best lines. We laughed a lot. Once she gets out, we're going to watch them all over again. And when the next movie arrives, Gran and I are going to go to the cinema. Together. Right, it's crazy. Oh, this is this is so nice. And soon, Gran and I will be playing games again. What is behind? I'll be all her high scores. For sure. Gran's a tough cookie. In video games. And everywhere else. What is that? I heard mom crying in her room. No! Oh my gosh. I've never seen her cry before. Oh my god. <laughs> she looked so sad. I didn't know what to do. Sometimes the universe knows when you need a nice little happy sad cry, so I'm gonna just let a couple tears go. I'm so sorry. I'm like, I give hugs to everyone. <laughs> And chat. It's okay, Big Mac. I know. Like, um, yeah. Um, just, man, like, <laughs> yeah. Um, 
I'm gonna drink some water. It's okay, Big Mike. Don't a ski master or people with your hugs while they leave stream. Um, yeah. So I made her a cup of tea. Yummy yeah, hug, Rich. Um, okay, let's see. Can I go? Can I go up? How do I hold this? Wait, do I just bring it? Eh, eh. Oh, water. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Sir Wei. Thank you for the two months. How are you? 